Hey guys, this is Barbara from Barbara Journals and also Inspired Paper and Designs. Today I want to show you a quick little hack that Canva has created when it comes to lining up um, elements like your squares and your lines. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a design and I will do custom design, change this to inches and I'm going to make it letter size. So 8.5 by 11. And there's two little features that Canva has that I think you guys will love, especially when it comes to creating um, journal pages or notebook pages or even um, like your workbooks and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some lines. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to drag it over here. No certain order. Um, I will pull it in a little bit. In case if you ever want to make the line, see how thick it is. If you ever want to make it thinner, just pull it up in the corner and you can do that. So I'm just going to um, drag it out to let's make it about here. And then I'm just going to um, I'm going to move it down a little bit just for purposes of seeing the video. I'm going to copy a couple and I'm going to move it here and here, 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 here. Now, the trick that I want to show you, like let's say you want to get it all even, evenly spaced. If you highlight all of them, go to position and click on tidy up, it immediately brings them all in the line. Isn't that fantastic? Like I love this feature on Canva. If you do not have this feature, it may be because it's only available in the Pro. Um, if that's the case, if you click the link below this video, you will be able to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. But I think especially if you are really serious about designing notebooks, journals, and planners, the cost of the monthly fee for Canva Pro is more than made up just by this making your life so much easier. Sorry about that. Because it already makes it even for you. All you have to do is tidy it up. So then another little feature I want to show you too, if you go to file, they have rulers, mar rulers, guides, and margins. So your ruler, of course, is right here. So it's just showing you basically um, where your lines may fall. So see, and then you can actually drag this over. So you can see that that's 0. 0.496. So if that's what you were going for, then you would want to make sure that this is the same. Like you want to make sure that this falls in line with this, that it matches evenly. Um, but you can use rulers. It goes up and down. But of course, you already know if you just group it, I mean, highlight it and then group it. The purple line always tells you that where your file is in relation to the paper. So that's the ruler feature. Then you have the guides feature, which is what I showed. And then you also have margins. So then you can see the margins and you can see the margins um, are about an inch. So again, that helps you if you wanted to make sure that you stay within the um, inch, you would just drag it in, which is the purple box that you just saw, but also you can use the print bleed too. So right here, it shows you that if you go beyond this line, then you will probably be in the area of bleed depending on how you plan on printing your um, your pages. All right. So I just thought that was a neat little trick. Also, you can do other things like um, top, bottom, middle, if you want to, you know, arrange your elements, vertical or horizontal. It also works for squares as well. So I'm going to remove all of the um, rulers. Hold on. So when it comes to like, say, for making your calendar and you want to use the squares, if you go inside here, pull it in. So let's say you wanted to use it to make squares. I'm just gonna make a couple. I'm gonna put this in the middle just because. I'm just putting this like just for viewing purposes. There's no other reason. Um, all right, here, here. I may have to pull this down some. All right, so then you will highlight all of these once again, position, and just um, and then you can just hit tidy up, evenly spaced it out. You would just group it 
and then you can move it wherever you want to. If you want to make it smaller, just drag it up in the corner. It'll keep it all the same size. Again, these two things are just life changing when it comes to creating different pages for your planners, notebooks, journals, devotionals. Um, I'm trying to think. It's one off the top of my head, but I can't think of what it is in addition to workbooks, um, printables, all those different things, calendars, all of those different things that require um, shape elements. Using the tidy up feature is definitely going to make your life a lot easier. So I hope this um, video helped you made like make life a little easier. Comment below. Please feel free to share. Also, if you click the bell, you will always be notified when I update my channel with a video and also make sure that you subscribe so that um, you get those updates as well. And I just want to say very quickly today is September 22nd, 2020. I was on Facebook and you know how you get those yearly updates. You know, they say, this is what happened a year ago today. Well, I got a message that popped up and it was so um, timely that said, you know, a year ago, I got an email from YouTube saying, congratulations, you reached a thousand subscribers. And now thanks to you guys supporting me and always watching my videos, I am up to a little over 8,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for supporting whether it was watching the video, sharing the video, leaving an encouraging word, all of those things let me know that you guys want me to continue to make videos like this to help you get your um, business off the ground. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day and talk to you soon.